as well. So when we go back to the overview here, we can see we are already done with two pages, the home page and the blog page. And now we're also going to really quick look at the layout for our blog posts. So how the page looks like when somebody clicks on a blog post. So let's come back here and then we're already in the customizer. If you don't know how to get here, you can just type in the URL of your website. And once you're logged into WordPress, or if you're logged in, you can see this bar here at the top. Once you see this, click on customize, and this will take you into the WordPress customizer. So um, we're gonna click on blog. And then now we've already added the entries. Now we're gonna add the single post. So now this is how the single post page currently looks like. We have the featured image of the blog post, the title, the metadata, and then the content here. The sidebar we already have created here, as you can see. And then at the bottom, we have the, um, the posts that are related to the post that we are just reading. So as you can see, this already looks pretty good. So we don't actually need to do a lot here. The only thing that I wanna do is I wanna do some changes here to the metadata. So we're gonna go to the uh, meta section here. And what I wanna do is I wanna deselect the comments and maybe also the category. If you think it's important, then you can just leave it here. I'm gonna probably deselect it. And then for the date, I'm actually gonna change, I'm gonna delete the date, I'm gonna disable it, and then I'm gonna um, change it to modified date. So whenever you update your blog post, then the date will be updated as well. And that's actually the only thing that we're gonna change here. Now I also wanna show you how you can change this name here that shows up for the author of this blog post. So let's click on publish just to save the changes. Then let's go back to our dashboard and click on users here. And then we can see we only have one user so far. This is gonna be your own account. So let's click on it and then let's scroll down. And then here under nickname, we can just change the name. So let's say it's Sam Smith. And then we also wanna change the display name publicly as we wanna change it to Sam Smith. And then we're gonna click on update profile. And now when we go back here and reload the page, we should be able to see that when we click on one of these blog posts that the name here has now changed to our new